Tonight we have a begin the meeting, begin the meeting with the presentation by our airport commission re, and it's a report by our the chair of, of the commission, Chair Cohn. Good evening, Honorable Mayor and Council Members. My name is Mike Combe. I'm the chairman of the Airport Commission, and I'm here to give you the report on the airport. 2015, we held our 23rd annual air show on March 28th. There were approximately 80,000 attendees and 75 aircraft on display. We held our last air show on April 2nd, just a couple of weeks ago, and we had similar numbers. The air show is a very popular event in the city of Riverside. 2015 highlights. Uh, in December 5th, uh, we hosted a drone seminar at Cal Baptist University with approximately 120 attendees. That was very well received. Lots of great information about getting a toy out of the box and flying it and FAA rules. In 2015, we also initiated a marketing program with ads in the Civil Air Patrol newsletter, the American Legion publications, local AM radio hotspots during the holidays. We also selected a developer for the West Side Hangar project that is still ongoing. In 2015, we maintain an upward trend of operations at the airport that you can see on the graph. We currently have about 265 aircraft based at the airport, which is an increase of 11 aircraft over the previous year. We have two new leases at $44,000 per year. We have six flight schools with 299 students and 47 aircraft. The members of the commission, I'm the chairman, and also uh, we have Ron Quartz, George Evans, John Plocker, Daniel Robles, Hank Schmill, Jim Stewart, Rodrigo Torres, and Marissa Valdez Yeager. This year we have a new commission member, which is Dilesh Seth, who is with us in the back. Our quarterly budget review as of our expenditures through February 28th of this year are 69% of budget. And well, that was for 2015. Our 2016, it, during that same period, we're at 66% of budget. So we're a little bit um, better on our budget this year than the previous year. In 2015, we established a public outreach subcommittee and the airport staff appreciation continue positive, professional, cooperative efforts between the airport commission and the airport. Our 2016 goals and objectives. A beautification program uh, is the tenant sign which is now installed. That's what's in the picture. Uh, we intend to complete the West Side Development Agreement for 18 acres. And we have a select on-call airport design uh, consultant for construction projects. And we have, want to expand marketing programs to articles and trade publications. And the airport commission will be participating in a strategic planning workshop. Also in January of this year, on January 12th, we did a tabletop exercise which we simulated uh, various emergencies and response by first uh, responders, including police and fire. And that'll conclude my presentation. And if you have any questions or if you have answers, even better, I'll take those. Let's see, Councilman Subaru, who represents the airport, Ward 3. Yes, thank you so much for your presentation. You know, just to let everybody in Riverside know, there's so much going on at our airport, as you showed with improved signage and, and uh, different projects that are, that are kind of in the works to see how they work out. Um, CBU, Cal Baptist University with their flight school and all the other flight schools we have, uh, the amount of interest in our flight schools and the amount of attendance is going to skyrocket. A little play on words there. Um, 
You know, I always joke around that everything at the airport, you know, the sky's the limit on how far we can go with this. But there's just so much going on there, and we greatly appreciate all those that put on the air show. And I know that there's a lot more interest going on, so I think we'll see even more and more things uh, coming along, especially with the military coming back to some degree. It uh, also helps out our air show. So I look forward to uh, growing more things and, and uh, seeing, seeing good things happen there. Thanks so much. I really appreciate your, your uh, presentation. Thank you. Councilman Bernard, I think, is a former airport commissioner. Is that? I am. Is that right? Former Air, Air, Air Force commissioner, airport commissioner. And it, Chairman Combe has been on the airport commission for how long? About six years. And you've served as a chairman? This last year. This will be my second year. Second year. So thank you. Um, those that are interested in getting involved in boards and commissions, can you tell us a little bit about what it means to you personally to be involved at the airport? Yes. Uh, well, I always have a uh, thing for flying, so I've done many different things around the airport probably for the last 30 years. And uh, I signed up to try to be an airport commissioner. It took about four years to go through that process, and then I finally selected. And I just like participating and knowing what's going on at the airport giving them my advice or input on things that are coming up and um, just participating with aviation in general at the airport. The more involvement in any particular project by yourself is, is always a good thing. Well, thank you, Mike. I know pers personally that, that at the airport you're very um, involved and appreciated, and I appreciate your service to the airport. Thank you. Thank you, John. Is the airport manager here? Kim? Airport manager's not here? Oh, uh, no, vacation this week. Okay. Wow. He gets to, to vacate. Um, so I don't know if you know answer this question, but the economic impact of the airport, I know that at one point we, um, we collect that information through the master plan. Um, do, you have a, do you have the knowledge of that, the economic impact on an annual basis of Riverside Municipal Airport? I don't have specific numbers, but I've been involved with different seminars uh, throughout the years at the airport. We've brought people in from all over California to come into Riverside. And what's nice about that is while they're here, they're spending money. They're buying fuel from us. They're eating at uh, the local, the, the, the uh, airport restaurant, or maybe go out to one of the local restaurants, and they discover Riverside. And by doing that, then they tend to come back for vacations, go to the Mission Inn and other uh, things in Riverside. So. Uh, it's always good to f find ways to bring more people into the airport so they can discover um, a great place to be. Exactly. It's an incredible asset culturally. You saw, you, you saw that with the air show. But also economically, it's an important benefit and asset yes. of the city. And I think directly you mentioned the, the sales tax, uh, at least an increment of that that we receive from fuel sales, but also a number of individuals, executive aircraft and, and uh, operations out there, takeoffs and landings. Um, but, but coming in and, and using going, to, going to, to downtown Riverside and the restaurants and uh, those indirect benefits are, are also a part of uh, Municipal Airport. Now, what about the West Side development? Do you know the, the value of that, the West Side development? Do you I don't have specific numbers on that. Kim could uh, discuss that with you. I think that's still uh, in some kind of negotiation or in some phases right now that, um, that I don't have information on. Councilman Subaru, I don't know if you know those, those answer, have answers to those questions. But yes, it's ongoing on the negotiations on that. But uh, I believe uh, at the last briefing I had at the airport, I think we were at about $95 million wow. on, the, on the just okay. the local area impact, nice. if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there you go. There you go. So thank you, Chair, again. And anybody else, please stand and recognize airport commissioners, and we'll give you a round of applause for the service you provide our city. Thank you. Brings us to Mayor and Council Member Communications, brief reports.